hi everyone welcome back to my channel you're tuned in to voyage flower if you're new please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the voyager crew also hit the bell so you can be notified whenever i post a video uh, and if you're all subscriber thanks again for coming back and watching my video so on this channel i make soap making videos and entrepreneur series right, so in today's video we're gonna make a soap that's dedicated to all the strong uh all the women out there i'm not gonna say strong or weak or you know we all go through things some days we're strong some days we're weak um you know but we get stronger so this video is dedicated to all the women out there make sure you do something fun for yourself and treat yourself uh whether it's going to a spa or watching a movie or you know i don't know what you like to do for fun but make sure you do something for yourself and celebrate your womanhood <laughs> celebrate um the joys and the sorrows and the good the bad everything that comes with being a woman so yeah in today's video we're making a uh, rose clay soap um i felt that it was you know perfect for this month since it's a woman's month um so yeah we're making a rose clay soap with some rose buds on top i'll go into details uh more in a video about the ingredients and everything that i used for the soap so yeah so we're making a rose clay soap dedicated to all the women out there and today's um i'm gonna go ahead and just put the verse of the day today um right now while making this video and i'll just put it on a screen later on so you can read more about it but yeah what do they have a man's day a man's month <laughs> They should have a men's month. You know, it will be fair. They kind of left out a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if they have a men's month. But if they don't, it will be nice and fair for them to have a men's month. You know? Celebrate the men that they are. You know? But anyway, so today's uh, verse of the day kind of goes into, um, you know, it doesn't yeah well it kind of does so so today's uh verse today is from first corinthians chapter 11 verse 8 it says for man is not from woman but woman from man i'm just gonna leave that out there but that's the verse of the day may the word of god be praised let's get to the video Hi guys, so these are the ingredients for today. So we're doing a grapefruit soap. Uh, we're using French pink clay for colorants. Uh, since I don't use um, artificial colorants, uh, I'm using the French pink uh, the French pink clay for my color to add a little bit of color to it. I'm using a uh, grapeseed oil. Grape grapefruit seed oil here it is that's the grapefruit seed oil we're using some chia seeds and some ylang ylang um, essential oil and some lemon essential oil I forgot to add that I'll be topping it off with some um, rosebuds that I have um, I think it will go well with the scents that I'm using and it also has great benef benefit in the shower it's biodegradable so don't worry about your drain it will go down or you can just take it off whenever you need to use the soap but it makes the soap look pretty and it's also good scent in the shower and it's also good for you you can take it off and like uh, grind it and use it as a face mask Alright, so I just wanted to move some things from the background because we had too much going on. So the lye and the oils are ready. We're going to go ahead and get started. I always strain my lye. Alright. 
ending it, I got some oil to the side so I can, um, I should, this is not a tutorial so I'm not gonna continuously explain myself so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing. Alright, so I'm waiting for it to get to a, to a thick trace. Uh, it's already tracing. So I'm going to go ahead and add my rapeseed oil. Okay. I'm adding four. We're gonna have to scoop it up because he got he got um it traced really fast so I'm gonna have to scoop it out. So we have to be very quickly. It's already tracing. I don't know if you all can see. But this is what we're going to have to do. This is how um some cold processing soap makers do their <laughs> If you want the one with the, without the chia, you are more than all the way done we're still gonna go ahead and make the top because you can still do that it's actually better when you do it like that get all the leftover soap and then you use it in the other mode all right No soap left behind. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna put it right on the edge. And then just press it down a little bit. I wish you guys could see the close up to this. One sec. And it is ready. So let's do the next one. Let's do it this side. Some of you may ask, oh, but we're gonna, where are you going to put a soap for that one, the leftover soap for that one? Well, I'll figure it out. Figuring out. Don't worry about the droplets, the ones that dropped. We'll just pick those up later. Press it down. And I had to do this one with no gloves on because I want to make sure I don't get leftover soap on my gloves and then getting it sticky and stuck. Yeah, that's enough roses. Ooh, it looks pretty. I love it. Kind of. Oh, baby. Yep. All right, guys. Let's unmold this beautiful grapefruit soap. It's made with lemon essential oil and ylang ylang essential oil with grapefruit seed oil and some rosebuds on top and pink french clay so it has all the goodies this is dedicated to all the women out there Oh my goodness, I can't wait to introduce you guys to the soap cutter. But we're going to go ahead and unmold. So yeah, this is how it came out. It came out very beautiful. But one thing about this soap, um, I had to put it in a freezer because it's, it was starting to accelerate. So if you ever use these ingredients, please put it in a freezer because it does accelerate and heat up. Um, I think the grapefruit seed oil is a little sweet because once I added that, it just started going up. So, grape seed, seed oil, please freeze your soap because it will rise up. Alright, so I'm going to unmold it off camera and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I just had to take some quick photos. But yeah, I unmolded it and... Remember that the soap was already hardening up the trace was already thickening up so we weren't able to get like a nice So yeah, this is how it looks Because we weren't able to fill it in but the next one I'm gonna put it in the mold right away Because I saw how quick it the trace thickens up uh, after you put the grapefruit. All right, guys. So let me introduce you to this soap cutter pro. <gasps> I'm so excited to use this soap cutter. Oh my goodness! This was a bit pricey, but it's worth it. It's a stainless steel, easy to clean after you cut, and it's very sturdy. So.
is the final look. This is the plain one. And this is the one with the seeds.